What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at Eagles' seventh-round draft choice, Patrick Johnson out of Tulane. Now, Patrick Johnson, 6'2", 240 pounds, all-time sack leader for Tulane. Built a little bit differently than most pass rushers, though, right? Again, at 6'2", 240, he's on the undersized side. So he's been making that transition to more of a linebacker role for the NFL and for this Eagles defense. Now, we're going to see exactly what that usage looks like, but let's just take a look at how he was used in this two-lane defense, and he was a really fun player to watch. Now, at 6'2", 240, he's going to win in a certain kind of way. You would think, all right, this is going to be a speed rusher, right? He's just going to fly by offensive tackles and win. That's what he does here against Southern Miss. He's just going to dip the shoulder past the offensive tackle, win with speed. He's going to turn that corner like a race car, and he's going to get home for a sack. Yeah, that's, that's how he won on a, on a bunch of sacks, but it wasn't just that. And that's what I really like about Patrick Johnson. Here he is lined up, hand in the dirt on the right side of our screen here, the right side of the defense. And again, you're going to see him try and win in a couple different ways. Here, he's not just trying to win by running around the offensive tackle. Watch him try and win with a bull rush here. He's going to put his hand, that inside hand on the out, inside shoulder of the offensive tackle. And then he does, watch what he does subtly with his off hand. With that right hand, watch him chop down, knock the hand down of the offensive tackle, and win inside. Now he's going to try and get home to the quarterback. And you just see that, how explosive he is. He eats up a ton of ground. Really fun player to watch from that standpoint on film because he is athletic and rangy. Once again, here's Patrick Johnson lined up right side of our screen. He's a, little, he's a pretty easy player to find from that standpoint. This time, dealing with the tight end at the point of attack, something he's going to have to do as a linebacker, right? So he's going to stand up the tight end. He's going to lock out his arms. He's going to get off the block, make the play at the point of attack. Nice job there from Patrick Johnson. Here he is lined up far right side. Once again, he's now going to be chasing from the backside in the run game. So you got SMU here, backside run. Watch the violent finish here from Patrick Johnson. Again, closing, and then just watch the finish. I'll slow it down for us right at the, at the end of it. Running back's airborne, and he's able to take him out. Really nice, violent finish there from Patrick Johnson on the back end. Still this SMU game. We're going to watch Patrick Johnson once again come off the ball. This time with a little swim move. Swim move is a tough one to be able to execute here. He can still gain a little bit more ground when he spins through, but you just see he's able to set it up with that chop move, spins violently through, and then you see the athleticism. I mean, the guy is just constantly getting after the quarterback constantly eating up ground, fighting through contact. Nice job there, getting home for another sack. He finished with over 20 sacks in his career. Like I said, all-time leading sacker in two-lane history for the Green Wave. Here's a good play against Temple, against my Temple Owls. So you're going to watch him right here lined up off the defensive right side. Once again, standing up. Very versatile player, pass game, run game, did a lot of different things. This one's going to be a quick screen to the back. Watch him play through contact. He's going to deal with the offensive tackle. Get outside the numbers. Nice violent finish there outside by the sideline. He was a tone setter for that team consistently over the course of the last two, three years. Here he is against ECU, East Carolina, going up against the left tackle. Again, at 6'2", 240, can win in a lot of different ways. He's got a two-way go. He can win outside. He can win inside. Here he's going to win inside. Watch an inside rip move. Stick his foot in the ground and close. He closes really, really fast. He played alongside another pass rusher there, Cam Sample, who's an inside-outside guy. Uh, but his ability to get after the quarterback really made him special in that two-lane defense. Here he is again, lined up outside, wide, outside the, outside the offensive tackle. Just watch how wired it into the snap he is. As soon as this ball just moved, he's already making his first step. Look at everybody else on the entire field. Nobody else has moved. He is wired into the snap count, flies off the ball, chop move, Right here, clears the, the hands of the offensive tackle. Watch him now turn the corner, and he's going to use another chop move to get the ball on the ground. Attack the throwing arm of the quarterback. Violent finish here. Gets the ball on the ground. You get a sack fumble. Gets the turnover there for the green wave. That's all created by Patrick Johnson. Really nice job. Wired into the snap count. Wins at the top of the rush. Is able to do a lot of different things. I really like watching this kid on film. And you're talking about an athletic player, productive player, high character, able to win in a couple different ways. I'm excited to see how he makes that transition to linebacker and just the overall usage, but a really fun player to study. I had a lot of fun breaking down Patrick Johnson. Hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of him inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. We're going to keep breaking everybody down that arrives here in Philadelphia, free agency draft, you name it, right here inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group.